Hey guys, what's going on? This is Linus here with iOS Jailbreak Zone and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.0 up to iOS 7.0.4. Now this will work on every single iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad that's running iOS 7 and up. So uh, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright guys, so firstly what you want to do is make sure that your device doesn't have a passcode and um, you also want to connect it to your computer. So right now what I'm going to do is just remove my passcode for which you only got to have to uh, unlock your device if you have a passcode and then go into settings, general and then go into passcode lock, type in your passcode and then turn off passcode like so. Alright guys, once that is done, you are done with your device, but you still want to make sure that your device is connected to your device, um, I mean your computer really well. Alright guys, once you've done that, all you want to do is just open up your web browser on your computer of course, and go into this website, www.evasion.com, and just remember that the zero, um, the O is a zero. I will be leaving links down in the description below just uh, to make it easier for you guys, and um, just make sure that you're trying this on a computer and nothing else. Alright guys, once you are on this website, what you want to do is just select which uh, your operating system is. If for some reason it's slow or something like that, then you can also use the official mirrors, but don't use any other website uh, other than this. And um, if you scroll down, you can also see the requirements and the readme. You might also want to read that just to make things easier for yourself. Alright guys, for me it's Windows, and uh, I'm going to click that, and it should open up this website. Uh, mega.co.nz and you want to hit download but I already had that downloaded so uh, all I'm gonna do is just open up the file you will need something like winzip or winrar to open it up and then you just want to extract the files alright once they are extracted you want to right click on evasion7.exe and then uh, go into properties once you're in that just want to go into compatibility run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and run it as an administrator just hit apply hit OK and then you can also open up the readme just has the same uh, instructions as the website itself alright guys once all of that is done you just want to open up evasion7.exe and hit yes if your computer asks you to now guys as you can see it has detected my device for some reason it wasn't uh, detecting it with my dock so I had to um, just use my original cable just be sure to use that just in case so you don't run into any problems alright guys once that is done you just want to um, hit jailbreak and it should begin I will be uh, speeding up some parts of this video just to uh, shorten the time of the video itself. While this process is going through, uh, you just don't want to touch your computer or your device at all. Alright guys, once your device successfully reboots, um, you can unlock it and tap the Evasion 7 icon. But that's only if you see that um, instructed on the screen. Alright guys, as you can see I've unlocked it. And if it asks you anything like this, just be sure to hit trust. And then just swipe to the last page or the next page. Wherever you see the Evasion 7 icon, just be sure to tap it. But just once, okay? Once. There we go. Now it's rebooting the device again. Alright guys, my device is just rebooted again and on my computer it does say that to continue please unlock your device. So I'm just gonna do that and nothing else. There we go. Alright guys, now on my computer it does say done. So I'm just going to hit um, exit, or actually I'll just leave it because last time I did that it did cause some problems. So um, I would just leave my computer alone for until the jailbreak is done. Alright guys, now as you can see on the screen, it's like running, it's pretty much running on your device now. And it does say reading kernel.
Alright guys, now as you can see my device is rebooting and I'll just let it reboot. Alright guys, as you can see, I can slide to unlock on my device right now and um, just hit trust once more. As you can see, I can see Sierra right now. Alright guys, now um, I am jailbroken on iOS 7.0.4. I'll just um, show you in general about and as you can see, just let me focus. There we go, 7.0.4.11b554a. Alright guys, it is obviously my iPhone 4, so it might be something different on your device, but um, that was just for just to prove you guys, prove to you guys that um, I was on iOS 7. Alright guys, for some reason it is a bit buggy, which is you know understandable as I just jailbroke it. Alright guys, so let's just open up Cydia, and as you can see, it still um, uses the old iOS 6 kind of look, but um, further in this video, I am going to be showing you how to uh, change that into the iOS 7 version. Right now you don't want to touch anything at all, um, not even your device. You just leave it and Cydia will exit when uh, the file system is prepared. Alright guys, now that the file system has been prepared, my device just rebooted and now I'm just going to open up Cydia once more. But before that, let me just clear out my multitasking um, switcher. Alright guys, now let's open up Cydia. I'm just a user but you can select any of these pretty much just be sure to select the right one alright guys let's just scroll down to the bottom once more and as you can see let me just focus iPhone 4 GSM iOS 7.0.4 Cydia 1.1.8 alright guys now that you know that I'm successfully jailbroken on iOS 7 I'm just going to be showing you how to um, change your look into the iOS 7 look pretty much. So I'm just going to refresh in the changes section. Yeah. Alright guys, you might see some errors like this, but I'm just going to let it reload and then just hit return to Cydia. Now as you can see, it does say two essential upgrades are available and I'm just going to um, hit complete upgrade just so it upgrades everything and you know pretty much um, gets um, everything up to date just so I don't have any problems later on. Alright guys, as you can see, I just had to hit close Cydia and now it's loading into the iOS 7 um, team pretty much. And I'm just going to go back to Cydia now. And you should be able to see that the version of Cydia has been changed to 1.1.9. Alright guys, this was pretty much um, a jailbreak tutorial and how to optimize Cydia to make it look like iOS 7. That's pretty much it from me guys. I will be making a lot more videos like this. If you did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It does really help me out a ton. And um, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And um, that way you will be notified every time I upload great tutorials like this. And I do have a lot of other videos coming up. And the jailbreak did come out like one week back. Uh, but I didn't make the video uh, just because I was waiting for my new camcorder to arrive. As you can probably see in the mirror right now, it is the Sony Bloggy Touch. And um, I will be making lots more videos. Just let me have a play with my device. And that's pretty much it from me, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.